The effects of climate change due to global warming is heavily being felt in Namibia, which resulted in poor rainfalls for almost three to four consecutive years. Most farmers have lost their livestock due to drought, while market prices were dismally low. An animal scientist, Jacques Els, believes farmers can introduce animals that can resist these shocks. We need an animal that is adapted to high temperatures, to walking long distances from grazing to the water and back, that is resilient and resistant to ticks and tick-borne diseases. Your more temperate breeds, unfortunately, do not always suit this. El says most farmers have switched from traditionally known strong livestock, such as Afrikaners, to Brahman, due to good prices in the market. Low prices for indigenous cattle, especially the Ngunis and Sangas, which are known to be hard, has forced farmers to resort to other breeds, mostly Brahman and Simantela, which are somehow vulnerable to adverse climatic conditions. Your Simantela Brahman type cross. You've got the adaptability of the Brahman, which is a Bostaurus type breed. It's good walk walking ability, it's hardiness, it's resistant to ticks. On the other hand, you've got the Simantela, for the same weight, a brown fika that's got milk. They've got also a good growth rate. And when you combine the two, you get an excellent animal. The agricultural expert, however, urged livestock producers to strike a balance between market prices of the animals and the challenges of adverse climate. The scientist is, however, optimistic about the future of the agricultural sector in sustaining communities. Namibia will always remain an agricultural country and I foresee that for many years to come agriculture will remain a backbone of our economy. This can only be realized if producers balance their livestock to the grazing land available, a practice so challenging for communal farmers.